out about BG defense is not bad, but the offense is very young, especially up front. There's just one senior on the offensive line. Bankswall, Grant, Zimmerly, Van Gorder, and Murphy. Sounds like a law firm. These guys will be around to get their law degrees for many years because they're just puppies, according to their head coach, minus the one senior that we're speaking of. Well, as people make their way from tailgating into the stadium, Testing. we got your Testing. favorite West of Toyota. The Warriors are great. Woo! Great. <laughs> Falcons and the Rangers. Baby's on my mind all the time. Hasn't sent a letter to make it any better, oh baby. What are you doing to me? Hey! Ay, mi amor. You deserve better. Pause your Wi-Fi on any device with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. Crisis can happen unexpectedly to anyone, and though it may seem like a small barrier, a simple lock puts space between the thought and the trigger. Learn how securing your guns can help prevent suicide. Oh my, with Chase Freedom Unlimited, I earn all this cash back? Oh, I gotta tell everyone. Hey, Rita, you can earn 3% on dining, including takeout. Bon appetit. Hey, Kim, you earn 5% on travel purchase through Chase. Way ahead of you. Hey, Neil, you can earn 3% in drug stores. Buddy, I'm right here. Why are you yelling? Because that's what I do. You're always earning with 5% cash back on travel purchase through Chase. 3% of drug stores, 3% on dining, including takeout, and 1.5% on everything else you buy. Chase, make more of what's yours. A new home and new projects go hand in hand. With the Home Depot app, this you'll pick it up in no time. You can pick up new skills in our Homeowner 101 workshops. Pick up new power tools with a tap. Pick up the things you need at our convenient lockers. Or even pick them up right from your doorstep. Pick up more of what you need so you can do more of what you love. The Home Depot app. How doers get more done. With a Honda in your garage, every summer adventure leads to another. Get an incredible summer offer on a new Honda, only at the Honda Summer Sales Event. Ready, set, go. At Jiffy Lube, it's our job to keep you moving. With a full range of services from oil changes and tire rotations to filters, wipers, and more, we've got what your car needs right when you need it. So you're ready for whatever's next. Just a couple of days shy of a full of car move here. here. That's a job In the Midwest, as Bowling Green and Murray State get set to kick off. And a pretty special moment Again, moments ago. Snap, one of the stars of Bowling Green football, Alabama. Phil Filippiano, who starred in the NFL, Oakland Raiders <laughs> legend. <laughs> A world championship with the Raiders. First Graduated back in 71. The former great linebacker on hand. Still looks pretty slim, doesn't he? He does, man. I got to find out what he's eating and what his workout <laughs> regimen is. Because I was born in 71, and I promise you I don't look that good. <laughs> <laughs> so they're inviting a lot of their legends back today. We'll get a chance to meet some of them. That's Scott Leffler, who is the head coach of Bowling Green, who told us last week losing that game to South Al, South Alabama. Felt like he lost the Super Bowl because it was a very winnable game, and they were beaten on a walk-off field goal. Mm. I mean, that's, that's tough, right? At home, too, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that hurts, but guess what? you got to clear it. That's what football is all about, whether it's having a bad play and clearing that or having a bad game. you got to clear that, too. Dean Hood, well, he's kind of the old-school guy who was telling us during the week. You know, I know there's a lot of fancy football out there, he says, but I still believe in the run game. You try to keep up with all the youthful things that are going on, but uh, running wins games, and his team's got a good-looking offensive line to do that. They do. They want to play bully ball up front with that front seven. They feel like the mass of their guys up front will wear on your defense over four quarters. Mason Lawler will kick off. Ethan Thompson is 16. He is way deep. And that means Preston Rice will lead the offense out to the 25-yard line to start our game. Our rule of the ball is placed at the 25-yard line, first and 10. Going to be here another three and a half hours, so sit back and get comfortable. Evenly matched teams, as we mentioned at the beginning, a slight favorite to the racers who are in the white uniforms to start the game and will be throughout. Rice has thrown four picks. But his five rushing touchdowns, the best in FCS. 
He will operate from the shotgun. And on the run past the 25 yard line on the very first place. Talk about keys to the game and what you think might matter, Tioka. The Racers offense is at its best when they're staying ahead of the sticks. And the best way to do that is have winning first downs. And for Bowling Green, keeping leverage on this ball, I'm just telling you, that's going to be a big key because perimeter run game for Murray State is very dangerous. DeMonte Witherspoon's the running back. That defense got some pressure last week on South Al, but couldn't make a difference at the end. And a stick in the backfield by Davon Ferguson immediately. This a kid is not playing with the full capacity. Take a look at one of his arms and what's covered up on the left arm there. Yeah, he's got a little cast there, but we talked about the perimeter run game. They just tried to get the ball right there on the outside. They're going to have to show up on the perimeter. And Ferguson, I'm just telling you, this guy is a monster. Converted safety, playing corner, so you know he can tackle. Very physical player, number seven. And likely playing hurt, as you saw the cast on that left arm. Beyond the sticks right now, third and 14. Need a big play. Here comes pressure on Rice, and he can run the ball. He will throw on the run. Got a receiver, 40-yard line. Ball picked off and going to be returned. We have an injured player at the 40. And Bowling Green gets the football on a pick that comes only a minute and 21 seconds into the game. Looks like Brock Horn, 34, got it. But in the meantime, receiver number 88 got clipped as Sean Green got hurt. And he's down for the moment. Official timeout for an injured player. Look, Preston Rice, you, you, made, a, you made a mistake. You can't be late over the middle. Watch the movement. He'll do that all day. Break pocket. Now watch him be late and back across his body over the middle. No, no, no. If you do, you better drill it. And his guy gets drilled because he left him out to hang out with that high pass. And Johnny on the spot. That, that's, that's hustle right there for Brock Horn. You teach this from Pee Wee football. Watch the hit. Ball is out before he hits the ground. So this is an interception. This is not a fumble. I, I believe this will be an interception. That's Horn hustling to the ball and makes a play. Tip drill. It appears that the wide receiver for Murray State, Deshaun Britton, who's a redshirt freshman, is okay. Sometimes the worst-looking potential injuries turn out to be just fine. That's right. And, and there's adrenaline going right now. I'm hoping that once he gets to the sidelines, and that adrenaline starts to slow down, that he really isn't injured. And he's able to come back and continue to play. How about the field position for the Falcons wow. at the 29-yard line of the Racers? Had great field position last week. McDowell to pitch to the sidelines. They emphasize the quick game, so to get the ball out as fast as possible, and that's Tyrone Broden, who was on the scene last week. All these, they made a number of catches. Excuse me, Jim. All these plays, these quick throws like that, that just gets McDonald loosened up, gets him warmed up. He's one of the top quarterbacks in the MAC. Actually, leads the MAC in average passing yards per per game, and so he's a very good quarterback. They're going to lean on his arm all day. This time attacking up the middle and enough for the first down to the 17. It's a youthful backfield for this team. Terryon Stewart is the principal ball carrier, but he also has Jason Patterson to back him up. Let's talk about some of the keys for BG in this game. The Falcons have missed on some very good big play opportunities in weeks one and two. They need to hit those today. And for the other side of the ball, Bowling Green hasn't been able to, to run the football. Uh, in the first and second weeks. And so if you're Murray State, you got to keep that going. Don't allow them to run and be ambidextrous, as you would say, offensively. On the pitch to the outside, likely another first down. Austin Osborne is a receiver that they really like, but they're going to find 19 as well in this offensive field. Well, that's like a run. That's as good as a run. I mean, right there, that, that's just a little bit of a smoke screen. Watch him step back. Ball thrown behind the line of scrimmage. Look at the perimeter blocking. See, that is as good as a run. Bowling Green has not been able to run the football well. But what they can do is throw safe passes on the outside, which is just as good as a run. Back to the run. Keith on the catch of 12 yards sets up the first and goal. Patterson to carry the football there, and they'll mix Stewart and Patterson together. Plenty of youth, not only the O-line, but also in the back. Well, Patterson's their physical guy, and you need to get physical inside the red zone. This is what Bowling Green really wants to do. This is the identity. They're not there yet. Their offensive line is young. You talked about that early. But really, their identity is what they're trying to forge is a running football team that can play action pass. 
Little different formation here. Patterson on the pitch. End zone touchdown. I like the call, Jim. I like the call by Terry Malone. Went with some tempo, sped it up, got a really tight formation, and ran the flip play and got Patterson outside. Nice job of running. Again, they'll feature him in the red zone because he's a little bit more of a power back. Tight formation, and now let's see if we can out leverage the defense with a bunch of reach blocks. And the blocking is excellent. And by the time he does meet a defender, it's two ladies across the line, of, oh, excuse me, across the goal line. Alex Wolschlager, another redshirt freshman, number 50 with a key block there. And this is Needham with the extra point. Missed one last week, but drills that. So last week, the Falcons unable to take advantage of turnovers, did just that. And with the flip to Patterson, Bowling Green draws first blood. Let's see what Preston Rice does on his second possession when we come back. Intercepted. It's picked off. Khalil Mack is going to return it for a touchdown. He's going to score. Touchdown. 58 yards. Randy Moss. Jason Taylor with his eighth quarterback sack of the season. Well, everyone knows the Max being the cradle of coaches. Meyer named Mac Coach of the Year. Can we become the best football team that we've ever become? Period. Oh, my. With Chase Freedom Unlimited, I earn all this cash back? Oh, I got to tell everyone. Hey, Rita, you can earn 3% on dining, including takeout. Bon appetit. Hey, Kim, you earn 5% on travel purchased through Chase. Way ahead of you. Hey, Neil, you can earn 3% at drugstores. Buddy, I'm right here. Why are you yelling? Because that's what I do. You're always earning with 5% cash back on travel purchased through Chase. 3% at drugstores, 3% on dining, including takeout, and 1.5% on everything else you buy. Chase, make more of what's yours. Raising Cane's, proud partner of the Arizona Cardinals, presents The Other Rules of Football. Rule number three, serving cooked-to-order Cane's chicken finger meals always earns you extra points. And rule number 28, there's no penalty for excessive dipping. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. Rise up, Red Sea. Today's pros need today's tools, and nobody understands that better than the Home Depot. Our online project calculators cut guesswork and extra trips. Job site delivery frees you up to focus on the task at hand. And if you don't want to buy equipment, you can rent it. That's how today's pros get more done. New tech, new tools, old fashioned hard work. The Home Depot, how doers get more done. Just days ago, former Bowling Green basketball star Rashawn Holmes signed a four-year, $46 million contract with the Kings. Includes a base salary of $10 million, comma, five, zero, zero. Back on homecoming. It's a good man to get to know, I think. Absolutely. And, you know, he's making Jim Barber money. So you tell me, what's that like to bring home a bag like that, Jim? I mean, $40 million guaranteed? I always get excited about expenses from mileage, so uh, I wish. Second possession coming up, and this one, too, will start from the 25-yard line. So just moments to go after the interception. A quick turnaround and a turn of events for Bowling Green on the touchdown by Jamie Patterson. We talked about being efficient on first down, right? And they got behind the sticks, and that's not how they want to play football. They want to be, they want to be good on first down, and that can be with a pass. They were able to throw the football early. Uh, last week and really get up on the sticks and, and be efficient that way. So it doesn't matter. First down has to be a win for them, and then they can stay with the threat of the run, and that's when Preston becomes a really good passer when you don't know he's going to throw it. But if you know he has to throw it, that's a problem for this offense. He's got three good running backs, and one, DeMonte, who wears 31, very versatile, gets the football on his first series of downs and carries up to the 30-yard line. You know, a 31, Witherspoon, the book on him, very personal, probably the most personal on the team. Good vision, tough guy to tackle. Yeah, he's got quickness and elusiveness, but what you saw right there is that's a good first down play for him. And he's just a freshman, redshirt freshman out of St. Louis, East St. Louis, excuse me, but uh, that's the type of first play that they need. Now things are going to see, you're going to see this offense settle down a little bit on this particular series. Jacob Bell, Lamartez Brooks to the outside of Rice. Not even looking that way. Gets it to Witherspoon, tripped up. 
just beyond the 30-yard line. So it'll be third and five. That's a nice play by Side Dab coming up from his safety position, making a short tackle. I like to see him bring his arms, but if you're going to go down to those ankles, you better make the play, and that's exactly what he did. Watching Dabney play is a thrill because he likes to hit people. So does Ferguson, number seven, who will line up against the other team's best wide receiver. Line to gain is the 35, and third down, here comes the blitz. Rice picks it up, and still unable to gain anything. In fact, lost a couple of yards. He's got strong escapability, Tyoka, but right there, too many bodies for him to manage. Didn't catch the number, but he got him by the ankle because if they didn't, he'd, he'd still be running. He had a lot of room to run, and that's... That's the downside to blitzing. You better get home because a running quarterback will kill you because everybody in the secondary is running with their back towards the quarterback. Little Salton, redshirt sophomore, will punt back at his own 15-yard line. 7-0 Bowling Green, five minutes in. The matchup of the OVC and the MAC. Ferguson is back. It will bounce out of bounds. Good field position for the Falcons. From their own 34. Let's see what the second series on offense looks like. A little longer field to negotiate this time for quarterback Matt McDonald. Intercepted. It's picked off Khalil Mack. It's going to return it for a touchdown. He's going to score. Touchdown. 58 yards. Randy Moore. Jason Taylor with his eighth quarterback sack of the season. Well, everyone knows the Max being the cradle of coaches. Meyer named Matt Coach of the Year. Can we become the best football team that we've ever become? Period. At Burger King, we've banned 120 artificial ingredients from our food. That's right. We keep it real. Yeah, you do. That's why we dropped global pop star Anita. Wait, what? And chose the real you, Larissa Machado, to create your own custom meal. Sorry, Chica. Real food, real people. No, I'm calling my manager. Come on, you know I'm your manager, right? <laughs> Try the Larissa Machado meal. Food so real, Burger King had Anita put her real name on it. Get your own meal. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, people like GEICO because it's just easy. Bundling, for example. You've got car insurance here and home insurance here. Why not zoop, put them together? Save even more. GEICO. Dignity. It demands that we can still do the simple things. So it demands life-changing technology to relieve chronic pain. There's something in the air Out of the silence It all starts now It all starts now It all starts now Terry Malone up in the booth, the offensive coordinator, talks about the uh, dinner call, and the running backs sit by him, and they get called last because they're all freshmen. <laughs> and there are 60 freshmen on this roster. I mean, it's crazy, the youth. But, you know, we talked to Scott Leffler, and he brings up one of the big buzzwords in sports, and it's a process. But it really is for a young team like this. You've got to teach them how to practice properly, teach them how to take a loss and come back and practice better. He said they're getting better in practice, and he expects this, it to show up in the games, and we'll see if that works out this way today. Football just shy of the 40, Tioka. Second possession for Bowling Green, which capitalized on the interception for six a little earlier. McDonald, three-step drop, incomplete. So you talk about the process. Scott Leffler in his third year thinks it's going to be a great rebuild. But how do you make the fans patient who want a winner and want it now? Well, I mean, that's always tough. I guess the best way to do that is to show progression on the field. And you have to talk about it and remind everybody that we're young and our future is bright. But at the end of the day, he's got to show that the team is getting better. And sometimes when you get this young, getting better doesn't always mean winning the game. It's just the product on the field, the way you execute. But... Wins shortly help. There's no question about oh, that. Yeah. 
fact, he was saying earlier in the week, we need a payoff here. Right. A win is a payoff as McDonald and Osborne, high school teammates, combined there. Mission Viejo, California. They've been doing that for a long time. And that's how they get a lot of catches to Osborne. They want to get the ball in his hands with some blockers on the perimeter because he is their, their go-to guy. He's a very good athlete. Not quite a super burner, but after the catch, he can really make people miss. And it brings up a third and nine with a very modest gain of a yard. Showing blitz the racers. Let's see how many they decide to bring. They'll bring everybody. McDonald picks it up. First down catch. Past the 50-yard line to Tyrone Broden, his second catch of the day. And he's their big guy. He's the guy with the, the large catch radius. If you go one-on-one -on -one with him and give him cushion, the out route is there all day because he's going to shield the defender with his body. And if the ball comes out on time and on target, it should be a completion. That's exactly what happened there. Good job of the youthful offensive line. You saw by the numbers with the classes of mostly redshirt freshmen being able to pick up that blitz that allowed McDonald to hit road moments ago. And they still had a free guy, but that's where McDonald's got to get the ball out. So, yes, block all that you can block, but if they bring more than you can block, the quarterback has to recognize that and get the ball out. So right there was great execution by both the offensive line and the quarterback. And don't look now, Jim. There's some running lanes up there for, for Bowling Green. I know the fans at home are like, wow, we can run the ball? Well, so far, so good. Yeah, last week just nine carries, 19 yards. After the pickup of five, the ball at the 43 of Murray State. Empty backfield for McDonald, looking to his left. Going to get swallowed up back at the 48-yard line. And no chance on the play. That's Gwendarius Myers. Check that. Austin Dalton with a tackle. Dalton gets the quarterback sack, but it was Samuda, number 34, Eric Samuda, who picked the backup out of the backfield. It was great coverage. And Matt McDonald had to bring that ball down. And when you match the coverage up with the rush, if you're a rush guy, you want to say, if that quarterback packs the ball, if he has any indecision, I've got to be there. And that's exactly what happened with Austin making a big sack. Yeah, you mentioned Samuda. He had a 75-yard pick six during the spring season for the Racers. That's right. They played football the 2020 <laughs> season in 2021. And now fourth down. So imagine playing a number of games, seven in total, and turning right around and now coming into your scheduled season of 2021. Yeah, thank COVID for that, right? I mean, yes, it was yeah. crazy. It's been, everybody's life has been turned upside down, and, you know, the, these athletic programs are no different. Just made things a lot different than they've ever been, and so you just got to adapt and just keep moving forward. Matt Naranjo will punt. He had seven punts last week, five inside the 20, and that's number 21, Lamartez Brooks. Just... Hard pressed to find a senior on either side of the ball, pretty much. Left footed kicker, fair catch being called and made around the 12 yard line. Well, we've spoken of youth for Bowling Green, but how about Murray State? All 22 starters back, one of the few FCS teams, along with very few FBS teams, to have everybody returning both sides of the ball. Yeah, and we talked to head coach Dean Hood about that and what that affords and that affords them the ability to build on. We don't have to reteach our scheme. We don't have to reteach our techniques. We've been doing it with these guys. Now we can start to expand our playbook and start to move to the next level. Uh, but when all 22 back, you just don't have, that doesn't happen very often. And so again, we talked about the future being bright for Bowling Green. It's bright for the racers as well. Ronnie Castile is a running back on this team as they try to get the ball to him on a number of occasions and that carry is solid on first down. One of the few seniors, Mr. Castile. Nice job on first down. But that's the efficiency we're talking about. Getting first downs on first down never hurts. Very few teams, either FBS or FCS, return everyone. Mm. Some coaches say after a bad season, that's a plus and a minus. But <laughs> Murray State is coming uh, off a good spring season. A lot of people think they will win the OVC. In fact, they're the sentimental pick at this point. Yeah, no question. They've got a lot of talent. They got some FCS guys who can legitimately play for FBS teams, and whenever you have a sprinkle of that, you're always ahead of, of your opponents. There's no question about it. You've done a good job of stockpiling. I expect them to be a playoff team. And they call that the college free agent market. Yeah, yeah, that's right, with all the transfers. Second and six. Fast moving first quarter, six and a half remaining. Rice with a good look at 
The play from the sidelines and the defense. Keeping his eyes on seven. Ferguson, he'll hand it off. It will be short of the first down by three. We talk about the advantage of having a running football team. You know, everything's spread, right, in college football. Everything's spread. Everything is, is, you know, basketball on the field. But when you have a running team, you don't get a chance to practice against that. And so when they're trying to punch you in the mouth, how do you prepare, right? And so that's the advantage. you got, you got a big offensive line. You're committed to the run. You'll run it on second and long, and you see positive yards. This is where the racers want to be offensively, third and very manageable. Need to pick up three and get it to the 34-yard line. Rice with a look to his right. And into coverage. And a penalty flag on top of the play. If it's contact on Bowling Green, that will be an automatic first down. And Well, on defense there, Devin Taylor thought he didn't commit anything. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say it was outstanding coverage, but... you know, uh, Maybe too good. Right? right, according to the guys in the striped shirts, it might have been too good, like you said. So a holding uh, signal. I don't know if that's going to be defensive holding or not. Referee is Art Brown. Today, the man in the white cap. Pass interference. Defense. Number three. That penalty is enforced at the spot of the foul. These are Mid-American Conference officials. Let's take a look at Devin Taylor defending here and see if he committed the offense. Usually it's at the top of the route when you see hook routes. There's a little bit of a hand. You're okay there. As he grabbing jersey. I think there was some jersey grab there. Wasn't a whole lot going on. So I'm going to assume there was some cloth being grabbed because that's the only way that yellow flag should have came out. And it is an automatic first down. Now at the Racers, 46. Played a most competitive game against Cincinnati for two and a third quarters last week. 7-7 game and then got blown out. And today's Cincinnati rallied from two touchdowns back to beat Indiana. That's a quality football team in Cincinnati. Yes, sir. And for them to hang in with them like they did, that shows you the type of program they're building here at Murray State. And fairly or not, Luke Fickle already being mentioned for the USC opening. I even <laughs> know he's coaching a team that's pretty good right now. College football, boy. That's it's crazy, isn't it? Yes, sir. Back to the ground game. Castile's been a principal runner along with Witherspoon, and that's number 18 they're carrying. And on first down, they are making... Lots of plays easier on second and third. And, and how are they doing it? Jim, they're doing it with offensive line, right? I mean, we talk about quarterbacks getting warmed up and getting in the rhythm. Those big guys get in the rhythm, too. They love to run the football. There's nothing more fun for those big horses up front than to smash the guy in front of them. And right now, they're getting moving across that line of scrimmage. All five old linemen weigh over 300 pounds. Have mm. to be one of the heaviest line teams in the country. And as a result, another first down on the ground, which eats up clock and keeps the ball away from Bowling Green's offense. The offensive line, you're hard-pressed to find anybody that's even close to being under 300. And because this group is one of the more physical teams, it can push the ball up and down the field that's and right. use time. Yeah, and with that, we talk about it a lot. It's like body punches. Look, look at the weight dispar uh, discrepancy. That's a problem come the fourth quarter, but you have to make the body punches hurt now, and they'll pay dividends later. Good point. First down now for the BG42. Opens up play action, but Rice is in trouble. Now looking down the field and throwing. He's got a man incomplete. Big hit right there by Davion Ferguson, but we've seen this now twice where those balls are floating. I'm just telling you right there, when you float the ball against big hitters like number seven, somebody's going to pay a price. And there it is. Jacob Bell pays it right there. Was you know? Ferguson close to uh, targeting there? Well, I'd like to see it again, but he wasn't early, so a P.I. is off the table. But I didn't see a high hit there above the shoulders. Let's take a look at it. And there's the hit. Well, that, yeah, that head was a little low, I, I, you know, but I think the shoulder made contact first. This is going to be what they call a TFL and a tackle for loss. Brooks was there. Brand was there. The old man, Walter Hare, was there, number 56. Yeah, that's Carl Brooks. Captain, junior Carl Brooks makes a nice play. Knife's inside and gets a tackle for loss, like you said, and that's how you stop the run game. Penetration. Look at the penetration right there. You've got a tight end on him. That's not going to get it done. And who was his friend that came with him? I didn't see the defensive tackle uh, number there, but... Boy, that, that is really good run defense, and that's what the racers want to avoid. TFLs, it sets them off schedule. 
Got to pick up 13. Rice over the middle, incomplete. Wouldn't have been a first down as Ferguson almost picked it off. So now it's fourth down, and the Raiders will give up the ball. I like that guy, number seven. Uh, he does it against the run. He does it against the pass. And he does it with a cast on his arm, right? <laughs> There's a difference between being hurt and being injured. And in college football, you figure that out very quickly. The guys who can play with some pain are going to separate themselves from the other guys who will sit on the bench with a little owie. And uh, I got a lot of respect for number seven. He's a good player. I like the way you put that. What, Owie? Yeah. <laughs> well, I got kids, man. I know what Owie is. <laughs> Punt's going to come from the 40 of the racers. Let's see if there's any chance for a return here as Ferguson is out of the game. They're going to let it roll, and it's going to roll nicely for Murray State. All the way down to about the five yard line. Good looking punt. The Falcons come back deep in their own territory. Three and a half to go, opening quarter. Let's see how they manage the ball then. So you went to Mickey D's and didn't either. Man, that's wrong. But you're all right. Ah. Get two of your faves for just six bucks, like two quarter pounders. Only at McDonald's. I stood outside assessing the situation. I knew it could be rough in there, but how rough? There was no way to know for sure. Hey, guys. Daddy, it's pink! But hey, a new house, it's a blank <laughs> canvas, and we got a great one thanks to a really low mortgage rate from Navy Federal Credit Union. You could pink. So she's a princess. You got a problem with that? Hoorah! Hoorah! Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Dignity. It demands that you can do simple things with ease while managing chronic pain. It demands a rapid test to help evaluate concussion in case something happens. And knowing your baby is getting the nutrition he needs, no matter how you choose to feed him. At Abbott, we fight for these moments, developing life-changing technologies, because dignity demands it. Today's pros need today's tools, and nobody understands that better than the Home Depot. Our online project calculators cut guesswork and extra trips. Job site delivery frees you up to focus on the task at hand. And if you don't want to buy equipment, you can rent it. That's how today's pros get more done. New tech, new tools, old fashioned hard work. The Home Depot, how doers get more done. With a Honda in your garage, every summer adventure leads to another. Get an incredible summer offer on a new Honda, only at the Honda Summer Sales Event. Ready, set, go. Let us flash back to September 84, the last time Murray State beat a FBS team was Louisville, number one television show Dynasty. Mm. Alex Trebek, first syndicated season of Jeopardy. Uh, how about number three, huh? Who you gonna call? <laughs> <laughs> Bill Murray. McIntosh Computer introduced, and Dean Hood, veteran coach, was all conference at Ohio Wesleyan, age uh, around 2021 or so. This is a great opportunity right now, okay, for this racer defense. You've got Bowling Green backed up, right? And if you can make them punt from inside their 10, you'll set your offense up with really good field position. So this is where team defense, excuse me, team play. Defense carried to the offense, but also special teams as well. They got an opportunity to flip the field their direction. Falcons 0-2. Racers 1-1. One one. Football being snapped around the five-yard line. McDonald looking a little to the option. Keeps the football. Got out of danger. First down and a pickup by quarterback Matt McDonald. He really does it all for this offense. Mm -hmm. He gets involved in a running game. He's good. Number one pass, and we talked about that in the MAC. Little read option with a lead guy. Now he's got an option to pass it or run it, and he decided to keep that ball. And they really like Christian Sims. He could have thrown that ball, but he used him as a lead blocker and got a first down. Nice little fake to Terry and Stewart. Now Jamie Patterson replaces Stewart. 
into backfield along with McDonald. Drops the throw. Shooting coverage man on the outside. There was some bumping and grinding going, but nothing was available right there because of the good defense imposed by number 12, Devontae McKee. Yeah, and I like he didn't panic. Didn't panic, didn't get handsy, stayed in great position. A lot of times as defenders, you don't have to intercept the ball or you don't have to be all over a guy. You just got to be in right position and force a perfect throw, and that's exactly what happened there. Couldn't get the perfect throw. That was a 50-50 ball. They wanted to get the ball up. Uh, to Broden and see if he could go up and get it, but the quarterback could give him a chance. He threw it out of bounds. The key is actually the backup corner to Marcus Floyd, considered to be the one of the best defenders in the OVC, is the legal procedure being called on Bowling Green. Ball start. Offense. Number 11. Five yard penalty. Second down. William Steinke is the umpire today of the Mid American Conference officials. Flora Stabilo, the headlinesman. The side judge is Jared Flesh. Line judge Brett Carpenter, field judge Marcus Cameron. Back judge Chris Curry. The center judge is Darren Haas and replay official when we spoke to part of the game, Roger Quinlan. Nothing drives a coach crazy more than pre-snap penalties. Especially deep in your own territory and McDonald on a bullet intended for Austin Osborne now as a third and very long. He got some quick pressure in his face and that made that play off target. Looking for the slant to number 18 Osborne and wasn't there because of the pressure. Watch him throwing off his back foot. Well, excuse me, he stepped into it, but I think he rushed the throw. Osborne's there. Just let him a little too much. Defended well by the safety, Don Parker on the play. Third and a lot. Have to get the ball to the 25 to continue the series. The races bring pressure again, like they did on the last third down on rush three. Just rushing three and dropping eight. McDonald throwing against that to the outside. Ball caught, first down. Back to back, first down runs and passes this time to Tyrone Broden. So on third down, they're pretty efficient here. And they're starting to go after Devontae McKee. Don't know where Marcus Floyd is. He talked about it. He's one of the best corners in, in, in all of the FCS. And it, it looks like he might, is that him lined up at safety, the safety position? I'm not 100% sure, but they're starting to pick on McKee. And I think they, they feel like they got a nice matchup on the outside against the backup corner. Yeah, Floyd wears 24 and will likely call his name and number. I think he's not a bit safety. Showing blitz from the outside. They'll run the football here and a lot of room to run it. Keith is getting his opportunity. Had a pass catch earlier on the first drive. And now to Ron Keith carries for the first down to the 43-yard line. And if you're Bowling Green, this is what the doctor asked for. You had a free runner, but he just couldn't get there and make the play. That was number 51, Levi Matheny couldn't get there and that, because of the speed of Keith. Great job. Time out for administrative issue. And the issue might be the chains right now as the first down was picked up to the 43, unless there's somebody with a uniform that needs to have some adjusting. That's always a reason for time being called. I mean, speaking of adjusting, I'm curious why number 24 is lining up at safety. And I'm wondering, we got to take a look to see if there's someone hurt that we missed. Is there someone that didn't start or something? Because 24, again, we talked about Marcus Floyd is, is one of the best corners in all of FCS football, if not the best. And right now, I've seen him line up more than once at safety. So just that's something to keep an eye on as they continue to go after Devontae McKee. Yeah, you wonder if it's due to an injury or maybe some shifting they've gone on. Back to the ground game. Terry on Stewart, we mentioned, is probably one of their more aggressive runners. But right now they're showing kind of a plethora of people. And this time it's Nick Bosley carrying the football. Right now, number 24 is going to have to show up and, and be the alley player against the run. And I promise you that's not what he wants to be. Corners do not, do not want to be alley players having to make plays on backs and now he's moved back to corner. So very interesting with the shuffling going on right now. Second and five. It's Mosley again. This time nothing doing. Back to the original line of scrimmage as we wind down the first quarter. Eric Samuda came through and blew that play up right off the bat. Any type of run game. I don't care if it's a spread run or if you line up in two tights. Penetration destroys it and Samuda came through right away and made that a possible stop for his teammates. You no, know, who's going to be the team that hasn't been an FCS squad, FBS squad since the 80s or that is Scott Leffler's Bowling Green team, which hasn't won in two years. 
Falcons, good first quarter. They'll come back on offense when we start the second on homecoming. <laughs> we'll try this either at home. Looks scary to me. <laughs> Fun day today. And some interesting highlights already in the game on the touchdown there scored by Patterson. Even at home, we explored all kinds of places. From Couch Cove to Mount Staircase. Ready to travel wherever your imagination might take you? Book an American Airlines flight on AA.com using your MasterCard so you can plan your next adventure and start something priceless. Quarter pound king in the two for six, only at BK. Keep moving, keep moving. Peloton plant dads, y'all are crushing it on the leaderboard. Show some love. High five a friend across the country or right next door. Let's go, Peloton. Hit the mat for core. No ego amigo? Modify if you need to. So many milestones today. Game changing cardio at a new game changing price. The original Peloton bike. Now $400 less. All access membership separate. Dignity. It demands that you can do simple things with ease while managing chronic pain. It demands a better understanding of your glucose levels so you can enjoy movie night. And that your heart stays connected to your doctor so you know it's beating as it should. At Abbott, we fight for these moments, developing life-changing technologies because dignity demands it. Baby's on my mind all the time. Hasn't sent a letter to make it any better, oh baby. What are you doing to me? Hey! Ay, mi amor. You deserve better. Pause your Wi-Fi on any device with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. The previous owners left in a hurry, so the house comes with everything you see. Follow me. So, any questions? We'll take it. Great. It will haunt your senses. The heart-pounding Audi SUV family. Get exceptional offers at your local Audi dealer. Pretty fall downtown scene of Bowling Green, Ohio. As we get back to live action, McDonald trying to convert on third down for the third consecutive time, pending the spot. It's going to be about a yard short. Dylan Sanders has got work cut out for him. He's the defensive coordinator. He, by the way, spent some time in the indoor football league as an offensive coordinator. Yeah, he, he's seen it all. But I like that, though, because you get a perspective on all sides of the ball. You kind of got an understanding of what the offensive coordinator is out of the ball because you know it, but hard to defend on such a short third down right there. Nice job of getting that ball out of his hands by Matt McDonald. So three state, uh, straight times needing to pick up a first down. The Falcons did just that. Roden goes in motion as they have trips to the right side. McDonald looks to the right side. Intended for Osborne. And what a catch inside the 30 by his former high school teammate, Austin Osborne. Well, he went up and got that one, didn't he? And when that ball was released, I saw two racers converging on that pass. I thought it was going to be bad news, but... When you got a guy who's competitive and willing to go up and get it for your former high school teammate, watch that. High point that ball. Nice job. Really good throw to get it over the underneath defender, but not too high so his own guy couldn't catch it. I see you flexing, Mr. Osborne. Cortez Roberts did a pretty nice job of defending on the play, but Osborne made the catch. McDonald to the other side to Broden. Makes a man miss, and then he gets swallowed up and might have picked up a yard or two at most. The key to stopping all of those wide receiver screens, the tunnel screen, the smoke screen, it's pursuit from the inside out. Yeah, they may block a corner or two on the outside, 
But when you've got a wave of defenders coming inside, you just got to keep leverage because the cavalry is coming. Nice job by the team in white to flow to the football. And Terry on Stewart back on offense in the backfield with McDonald. Ball to 27. So we've seen maybe four different running backs so far for Scott Leffler's team. How about that? Yeah, getting everybody involved, and that's the bowling ball. Tyron Stewart, boy, 5'9", 210, freshman from Memphis, but Don Parker wasn't having any of them. That was a nice one-on-one -on -one tackle in the open field by number seven, the free safety. Good job there to make it third and about six, five or six. Well, BG wants to find ways to run the ball. They want to be physical. Third and a pass. They'll run it though on third down, and this pitch with all the pressure on the inside there, on the outside, that was going nowhere. The Murray State racers racing to their football. I love it. I love when defenses play with this sort of pursuit. Watch it now. There's only 11 guys on the field, but it looks like more than that. You tell me where you're going to go if you're a runner. Excellent job of pursuit. Defense is about attitude and pursuit. Offense is alignment and assignment. Defense is about being a dog. Right now, and team in white got a bunch of dogs out there. <laughs> Jason Patterson, nowhere to go running the ball. And this is a 43-yard attempt by Matt Needham, who has a 42 and a 50-yarder to his credit. Try to make it a two-score game early second quarter. So the Falcons, for the first time, well, this season, are up by two possessions. Three minutes into the second quarter. Let's see what kind of answer Preston Rice has for the Murray State offense when we return. Intercepted. It's picked off. Khalil Mack is going to return it for a touchdown. He's going to score. Touchdown. 58 yards. Wreck him off. Jason Taylor with his eighth quarterback sack of the season. Well, everyone knows the Max being the cradle of coaches. Meyer named Mac Coach of the Year. Can we become the best football team that we've ever become? Period. Hey guys, Huddy here to tell you how Burger King banned 120 artificial ingredients from its food. That's why my meal keeps it real. Actually, dude, it's the Chase Hudson meal. Huh? BK dropped Huddy and chose the real you to create this meal. But I'm the real me. Don't take it personal. You're just my celebrity persona. Wait, I'm famous? The research shows were pretty big with Gen Z. Oh. Hey. Try the Chase Hudson meal. Food so real, Burger King had Lil Huddy put his real name on it. Love your new song. Dude, that is so sweet of you, man. You probably already knew you could get an auto loan with Navy Federal Credit Union. But did you know, with our fully loaded car buying center, you can also get this, 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 and this. All in one fell swipe. Get everything you need to buy, finance, protect, and enjoy the car of your dreams. That's car buying fully loaded. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Dignity. It demands that you can do simple things with ease while managing chronic pain. It demands a better understanding of your glucose levels so you can enjoy movie night and that your heart stays connected to your doctor so you know it's beating as it should. At Abbott, we fight for these moments, developing life-changing technologies because dignity demands it. It is a sea of orange today on homecoming. Bowling Green celebrating year 2021. A lot of folks made their way out as opposed to the crowd that we saw last week when it was kind of sparing. <laughs> homecoming. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a great time and showing you some of the shots from outside the stadium that have uh, been most impressive so far. Jim Barber, Tyoka Jackson, who started Penn State. He's a little nervous on this broadcast. It's Why? because his... Uh, Lions are hosting dangerous Auburn tonight. Nervous who? And a whiteout in Happy Valley. You're wearing a white shirt. I'm wearing a white shirt with some <laughs> blue in it. I, I think uh, we're setting this thing up, man. I think some people are going to be shocked at how hard it is to win in Happy Valley. 10 nothing Bowling Green. Let's see what kind of answer now that Murray State has where it will start its possession once again from the 25-yard line. This team is loaded. 
with preseason honors. In fact, 10 players have been honored prior to the start of the season. So it's hardly a surprise this is the team to beat in the league. And he had 13 last year, 10 this year. That's We talked to the head coach about it, Dean Hood, and what does that mean for you? He said, well, it's great for recruiting, it's great for the fans, but at the end of the day, it's what happens between the white lines on the field is going to determine our success. But what that tells me is that recruiting is going well, player development is going well, and this team is going to be a monster in the FCS playoffs going forward. There's no question about it in my mind. And again, they're young. How about this? A little gimmick play on first down. And a flag being called. Being thrown at the 45-yard line. Going to be pass interference, I would think, against Ferguson. Can't wait to catch a play. Yeah, I can't wait to look at that one because that, that's very close, tight coverage. And, you know, when the ball is in the air, the defense has a right to go for it as well. Let's take a look at it. Got man coverage on the outside. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't see that. Interference. Defense. Number seven. That 15 yard penalty is enforced on the previous spot. Automatic. First down. Ball intended for 21. Lamar Taz Brooks. Uh, take a look at the right hand, right? The right hand does not foul at all. Right? That's hand fighting. That's fine. You know the left hand isn't gra uh, grabbing cloth because he's got a cast on. I, I don't see pass interference. I see two athletes going after the football. I disagree with that call, Jim. Moves the football just the same now up to the 40 with the penalty. By the way, did you see in the footage that uh, the other receiver who wanted the ball was Preston Rice? <laughs> <laughs> as if he doesn't do enough as a, as a quarterback. The first down to Monte Weatherspoon. And you know with a, an offensive line that it has, a veteran team, and with all that weight up front, that strength up front, it'd be foolish not to run the football. Yeah, well, some people say, well, wait, you're down two scores. Uh, what are you doing running the ball? Well, this is who they are. And the scoreboard has not gotten away from them. And what you see there is pretty good line of defense, but there's no penetration. And number 31 bounces it. DeMonte Witherspoon uses his vision, bounces that to the outside, and does a great job of getting nine yards. Ben Hodges is the offensive coordinator. Second and one, chance to pitch it here. They'll do just that, incomplete. It's almost like a free down though, because now you have third and one. Why not take a shot? Yeah, on defense, we call it waist down. You used to hear Herm Edwards, our defensive back coach back in Tampa, used to yell, waist down, waist down, because you're not giving up anything. And you had this, but watch the pressure at the end that forces him to throw off the back foot. If he would have been able to step into that pass, I've seen it on film, Preston Rice would have hit that for a touchdown. But that's what pass rush can do for you. If you can get a pass rush consistently, it knocks all of that good stuff going on in your backfield out. That's Carl Brooks applying the pressures. The first down is picked up rather easily by Delonte Witherspoon. Now into Bowling Green territory. And when we looked at the first quarter numbers, just 26 total yards for Murray State. So what's important in terms of getting some points on the board here in the second quarter? Keep running the football, okay, if you're the racers. This is who you are. You've got an offensive line that's bigger and stronger than the defensive line. Like we said, the, the scoreboard is not away from you yet. Just keep running the football and then take your shots when you can. It'll be there for you. Stay out of third and long. Malik Honeycutt, one of the wide receivers to the far side, wears number two. Faking the option is Rice straight ahead. He's the number two ball carrier on this team. And when you ask Dean Hood, the head coach, about him running, he says, I always grab my heart. <laughs> it's my quarterback, man. It's a key guy. But the other thing is, it's what makes them really, really good. Sure. And it makes your offense tough to stop because it's usually an extra guy who cannot, or I should say the offense has an extra guy when a quarterback carries the football. You can't account for that. And so often he has running lanes when he keeps the ball. Got two yards on the first run and past the original line of scrimmage. Now sets up a third, maybe back to the back to the original line of scrimmage. Sets up a third and long. The defensive coordinator for Bowling Green up in the booth is Eric Lewis and we were speaking to him during the week about defending this run and he said you know in the case of Rice we got to keep, keep keep some eyes on him you know you yeah. can't get away from us yeah because he's a part of the run game but he also talked about penetration and that last play he got quick penetration and made the running back divert where he wants to go penetration is the key to stopping all running games this is not what the races want to be third and long let's see if they can convert have to get it to the 35 to continue the series Pressure against Rice, throwing, got a man. Ball caught inside the 20-yard line. Stepped out of bounds. The ruling on the field is a catch. Well, and Brooks with a catch and a big down. play on third down from the 42. 
inside the 20. Now they're in the red zone for the first time. This is called back shoulder, partner. I love the play. Watch the throw. This is an intentional under throw to the back shoulder. Great job of adjusting by Le Lamartez Brooks. And let's see if he steps out. And <laughs> boy, that is close. I mean, I, I saw green between his heel and the white line. Boy, I mean, I, obviously, you'd love a blow up of that. And the ref is all over it. But I'm not sure he stepped out of bounds. Spot the ball at the 19-yard line. Great scoring threat right now for Murray State. And back to number 31, DeMonte Witherspoon. If I'm Eric Lewis, I'm getting nervous because that running game is starting to hump. And if you can't stop the Murray State Racers from running the football, it becomes an avalanche. And that's when they start play passing. And that's when Preston Rice begins to bootleg. And things begin to get really crazy. First things first, got to knock this run out, but it's getting warmed up for the guys in white. They've had nine yards and seven yards on first down runs. It's second here and three. Boy, nothing overly scientific about this offense right now. As 35, Cortez Jones gets his first carry. And that wasn't very much, but that was enough. They'll take third, or excuse me, three in a cloud of dust all day. They're fine with that. Why? Because it's third and one. And I wouldn't be shocked if this was two down territory anyway. But third and one, third and two, third and three, that's where that guy wants to live because that's the makeup of his team. And they rely on his strength, which is that huge offensive line. A 40-pound difference between the Murray State offensive line and the defensive front of Bowling Green. Just need a yard here. Witherspoon's second effort got it. It'll be first and goal from the eight. It's a good looking drive. It's not real pretty. Right? Let's be honest. It's not real pretty. It's old school, but it's effective. Yes. Right? And it tests. I like old school. I do. Know? Well, we both hope. Well, and the head coach is like that too for uh, for Murray. Watch, watch, watch Witherspoon's legs keep running on contact. You show me a guy who stops his feet on, in contact, I'll show you an unsuccessful runner. Show me a guy who's willing to take the punishment and keep moving forward, and I'll show you a guy who can play for me. This time the quarterback keeps faking the Witherspoon, puts his head down. Now the pile will do a uh, drive toward the five-yard line. It'll be stopped, though, around the six. That was a scrum. Yeah. That was a rugby scrum right there. Big pile up. Early on the field is for progress with stop. Number five of the defense has to sit out one play. So the helmet came off, and so Bowling Green is going to send somebody to the sidelines. It'll be second and goal when they restart the clock. So what happens when the tailback run game begins to come alive? Well, you start to now fake it, and you start keeping it as a quarterback, and you're now playing with the eyes of the linebackers in secondary. But it all starts with handing the football to the tailback and getting positive yards. Second and goal. Back to Witherspoon. Heading to the end zone. Touchdown. That drive was all about the offensive line and the running of Witherspoon. Right? That is like a diesel engine. It's starting to get revved up now. Right? Excellent job of just pushing and mushing and dominating the line of scrimmage by the big guys and the beneficiary as any back who's running it right now is Witherspoon. And watch Witherspoon finish the runoff. Right? You see, you never want to see backs falling forward if you're a defensive guy. You always want to see that on offense. Great job by Witherspoon finishing that ball off into the end zone. Now Aaron Baum for the extra point on the hole by Lewis Halton. 10-7, our score. Racers weren't going to be shot. Intercepted. It's picked off. Khalil Mack is going to return it for a touchdown. He's going to score. Touchdown. 58 yards. Randy Moss. Jason Taylor with his eighth quarterback sack of the season. Well, everyone knows the Max being the cradle of coaches. Meyer named Mac Coach of the Year. Can we become the best football team that we've ever become? Period. Oh, my. With Chase Freedom Unlimited, I earn all this cash back? Oh, I gotta tell everyone. Hey, Rita, you can earn 3% on dining, including takeout. Bon appetit. Hey, Kim, you earn 5% on travel purchase through Chase. Way ahead of you. Hey, Neil, you can earn 3% at drug stores. Buddy, I'm right here. Why are you yelling? Because that's what I do. You're always earning with 5% cash back on travel purchased through Chase. 3% at drug stores, 3% on dining, including takeout, and 1.5% on everything else you buy. Chase, make more of what's yours.
the quarter pound king in the two for six, only at BK. Dignity. It demands that you can do simple things with ease while managing chronic pain. It demands a rapid test to help evaluate concussion in case something happens. And knowing your baby is getting the nutrition he needs, no matter how you choose to feed him. At Abbott, we fight for these moments, developing life-changing technologies because dignity demands it. it on the leaderboard show some love high five a friend across the country or right next door let's go peloton hit the mat for core no ego amigo modify if you need to so many milestones today game changing cardio at a new game changing price the original peloton bike now four hundred dollars less all access membership separate Calendar about to flip to fall. Fall weather's coming in in the Midwest, by the way. Clouds are going to change, and in fact, we're looking at temperatures, highs of 70s and 60s later in the week. That's gorgeous football weather. That's the Monte Witherspoon. We got the first touchdown of the day for the racers to bring them within three. He had a little owie on the sidelines. Had his elbow looked at. I guarantee you we'll see 31 again, though. You know, seeing a, or hearing a big guy say owie is just... <laughs> I mean, you were the sack master at Penn State. <laughs> no, but really, I mean, it's a mentality. Football is about attrition. It's a game of attrition. And, you know, if you can have mind over matter, deal with the pain. Legitimately sit out if you're injured. There should be no heroes with the injury stuff. But pain is a part of the game, right? And the guys who can't take a little bit of pain or even a moderate amount of pain, they, this, isn't, this isn't your game. And the teams that can continue to do that as we get into October and November and continue to practice hard through all the bumps and bruises, those teams show up playing the best at the end. One of those great football teams is being challenged today. Alabama, once leading Florida 21-3, now up just 21-16 with about five to go in the third quarter. That's college football right there, right? Oh, man. I mean, you just you got to bring it every week, and there's only 11 or 12 weeks to do it. Every game counts. You have to be on your A-game, especially if you're Alabama, because everybody's hunting you. If Alabama loses, Stephen A. Smith is in trouble. Because he told Tim Tebow, he says, they're going to wax the floor of Florida <laughs> during the week. <laughs> right now, that wax looks a little dirty. Yeah, a little, a little see. slippery, huh? We'll see. Teron Keith deep for Bowling Green. And he'll let it go. So the Falcons restart with three timeouts remaining in the first half. Burger King bans 120 artificial ingredients from its food, so nothing keeps this girl from me or from her impossible Whopper. Okay, maybe these fries. Try the Larissa Machado meal. Food's so real, Burger King had me use my real name for it. I thought I was managing my moderate to severe Crohn's disease. Then I realized something was missing. Me. My symptoms were keeping me from being there for her. So I talked to my doctor and learned Humira is the number one prescribed biologic for people with Crohn's disease. The majority of people on Humira saw significant symptom relief in as little as four weeks, and many achieve remission that can last. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections. Serious and sometimes fatal infections, including tuberculosis and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common, and if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections, or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humira if you have an infection. Be there for you and them. Ask your gastroenterologist about Humira. With Humira, remission is possible. Your family has Cox Home Life, so you could see what's outside. But you're not thinking about that. You're thinking, it's not that scary. You're thinking how nice it is that your sister finally says you're big enough to watch this movie with her. You're not thinking about what's outside. Cox Home Life, show driveway camera. Well, maybe just a little. Stay close to the moments that matter. Cox Home Life will help take care of the rest. Play. Control your cameras and more with the Contour TV and Cox Home Life. Last week, an art fair in downtown Bowling Green, Ohio. This week, saluting homecoming 2021. 
as the alums have come back in force here. Erica Jackson, Jim Barber. Bowling Green on offense. Little pitch out of the backfield by the quarterback, McDonald. To Patterson, who does the rest. He has the Falcon touchdown, and he now has the first down. How about the ball handling right there by Matt McDonald? He's showing us a little bit of everything. Right there, he fakes the jet sweep with one hand, rolls out on a little, sort of a waggle, and throws a very accurate ball on the run to his freshman running back. I mean, this guy does everything for this offense. Just, he is the MVP of this team. They have got to keep him clean and upright for them to have any chance to win these games going forward. How about McDonald weeks two and three? We've seen him both weeks. What do you think? I like him a lot. Right? He can do it in, a different, in different ways. He can throw from the pocket. Right now they get the running game going a little bit, but threw for over 300 yards last week. Right, uh, We talked about he's averaging more than anyone else, throwing the ball in the MAC every week. This week he's done a little bit of everything. He's running the football. We saw the ball handling. Right, They want to be a running team. And if they were able to run the ball, this guy would then go from being a very good quarterback to a superstar because it would open up. That's secondary for him. What do you think? Good genes in the family with his dad, quarterback at USC? That helps, right? <laughs> One helps. Rose Bowl. Only lost one game as quarterback for John McKay's team back in the day. McDonald throwing long on man coverage. Broden trying to go up again and was picked off. Devontae McKee has been very active in that secondary with the interception on the home run ball. Well, he's been active because they've been targeting him. And he, and he says, number 12, okay, you come after me, I'll make a play. Now, you talked Four about interception. You talked about First, the receiver. Ten, you talked about the receiver going up and get it. I, I think, honestly, Jim, he let the ball come down. Nice pressure towards him. But watch Broden. You got to go get it. You can't let that come down because then it brings the DB in play. And that's a really nice play on the ball by McKee, a guy they've been targeting. And so he comes back to bite him. Nice job of recognizing the go route. He's in great position. The ball's pretty well thrown, but if you're Broden, go get it. You're 6'4", 200 pounds. If you let the ball come down, you're no longer 6'4", right? And a guy 5'10", makes a play on the ball. Marked him out of bounds at the 45, so he had a return of almost 30 yards on the pick. Now Rice in trouble. Going to get swallowed up. And a sack. And a loss all the way back to the 37-yard line as Spires was able to get penetration without any difficulty. Got a flag. Maybe on the secondary of Bowling Green, at least that's what the back judge is pointing to. Defense, number six. That 10-yard penalty is enforced from the previous spot. First and 10. That's on number six, Bryce Brand, the senior linebacker. Jim, this works in the OVC, okay? You, you, you pull it down now, and the OVC, you can keep doing this because you're as good an athlete as anybody on the field. But against an FBS team like this, that ball's got to come out. You cannot continue to hold that ball and think you're going to matriculate that pocket and make people miss. And that's what right now, that's what Murray State has to adjust to. The things that work in the OVC aren't necessarily going to work today. you got to get that ball out of his hands. Now, obviously, the defensive penalty is not a problem, but that's something to remember with Preston Rice. Know to get rid of that ball. Don't do too much. So instead of the sack and a loss of 10, the penalty is a plus 15. Witherspoon, no gain on the play as he's swallowed up. Darren Anders was up there, and he got plenty of help. That's the first time we called Anders' name, and that's an upset, right? Because the guy is averaging 11 tackles a game. It's a good sign for the offensive coordinator, Ben Hodges, of the Racers. Well, he's a guy you got to get blocked. And they say he's always in position to make plays, and when he gets a chance to make a play, he makes it. You see there, he was in position to make it. He's not going to miss tackles. The thing is, this big offensive line, if you can get up to the second level, you're going to engulf him with these 300-pounders. Back to the run. Back to Witherspoon. Just joining us. Bolden Green jumped out 10-0. The Racers, solid drive moments ago, made it 10-7. And with the pick, are now on the move right now with the football located at the 43 of Bowling Green. Watch the blocking. If you play tight end for the Racers, you got to block. Look at number 87 come around the horn. Jake Satoff, nice job of blocking Anders on the corner and gives his back a run. And listen, you don't want to lose yardage. Third and eight is not where you want to be, but it's better than a loss. Good job of blocking up front. And 63, Nevi Lesler also good blocking on the outside. Rice has got a lot of room to run here. And he has got the first down as he high hurdles 
inside the 35 yard line for a pickup of eight. Remember, Felt we like talked about 20 yards on the play. It, it did, right? Because he backed up to get out of that pocket. But remember, we talked about being sound on the edges. This is what I'm talking about right here. You got an athletic quarterback, you got to contain this guy and watch the moxie and smelling the first down. There you go, go get it. Get up over him. I'm like, he could, he could have probably jumped over a book, but it's good enough <laughs> because if you're going to go low as a defender, this is how you beat a low guy. Come up and chest him up. Don't jump at his heels or his toes. The guy will go up over you first down. Nice job by Preston Rice. wonder what the head coach was thinking when Rice uh, bodied up there he didn't like to challenge the defense. <laughs> Rice is he's fearless, isn't he? He is, but that's what makes him a really good player. You can't really take it away from him. You just want him to be smart with his decision making. There are times to eat the ball, go down, and don't take the big hit. But there are times on third and long in the open field where you got to make a play for your offense. Cole McDonald, a tight end, enters the game now. He's 85 for the team in white. This is exactly what the racers want. Oh, yeah. Shoe and clock. Shorten the game. Possess the football. Protect your defense. Again, not sexy. Old school, but effective. Ronnie Castile back in the game in the backfield. Rice throwing out of the backfield. It's going to leave him short at the 30-yard line. Jake Sidoff with his first catch of the day, 87, the redshirt freshman. Nice job of getting that ball out of his hands. All right, Rice. The Fisher's the timeout for an Quick pressure. player. Got a big guy with the ball. Look at that, number seven. <laughs> I mean, I'm so impressed with this guy. He keeps making play after play. He's not afraid to make a tackle because he's a converted safety. So you know he can hit. And he's emotional. And he's fearless. And he's a leader by the way he plays. He's somebody that the whole defense can rally around. When you see little guys coming up and hitting big guys, it gets you fired up. Well, and apparently he had a camp that was worthy of his coaching staff pointing him out to everybody else. Yeah, when, when you can play in practice the way you play in a game, you notice I said, I didn't say practice in practice, play in practice, right? You got to come to practice like it's a game. When you do that, you become an example for everybody else because you play like you practice. No secret there, right? Sure. Third and five, under two minutes, first half. Murray State on the move. Rice, a quick throw. That's a tough catch there, and it's incomplete. So it'll be fourth down now. A decision to be made, as apparently they will attempt a field goal, and Aaron Baum, who has yet to hit one, is going to try to connect here to tie the game. And Jake Satoff is like, why, coach? Why, quarterback? Why'd you throw that ball with all those guys around? I mean, he took a shot right there. Nice job of holding on to the ball, but, you know, he took one for the team there. Dean Hood, the head coach, says, I got plenty of confidence in Baum. Attempting just his fourth try of the year. This would pull him even to 10. Plenty of leg. Tie game. Well, that's why Dean Hood still feels pretty good about him. <laughs> Falcons have three timeouts and a buck 46. Here late in the first half. Oh my, with Chase Freedom Unlimited, I earn all this cash back? Oh, I gotta tell everyone. Hey Rita, you can earn 3% on dining, including takeout. Bon appetit. Hey Kim, you earn 5% on travel purchase through Chase. Way ahead of you. Hey Neil, you can earn 3% at drug stores. Buddy, I'm right here, why are you yelling? Because that's what I do. You're always earning with 5% cash back on travel purchased through Chase. 3% of drugstores, 3% on dining, including takeout, and 1.5% on everything else you buy. Chase, make more of what's yours. If you love that chicken from Popeye's, you'll love our nuggets. They're crispy, juicy, and packed with our signature homestyle Louisiana flavor. Try an eight-piece today for $3.99. Love that chicken from Popeye's. I thought I was managing my moderate to severe Crohn's disease. Then I realized something was missing. Me. My symptoms were keeping me from being there for her. So I talked to my doctor and learned Humira is the number one prescribed biologic for people with Crohn's disease. The majority of people on Humira saw significant symptom relief in as little as four weeks. And many achieve remission that can last. 
Humira can lower your ability to fight infections. Serious and sometimes fatal infections, including tuberculosis and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common, and if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections, or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humira if you have an infection. Be there for you and them. Ask your gastroenterologist about Humira. With Humira, remission is possible. If you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you play good. That's going to be on some highlights. That's how the greatest always get their game good. Gillette Pro Glide. Five blades and a pivoting flex ball to get virtually every hair on the first stroke. Look good, game good. Gillette, the best a man can get. This is significant because we match up FCS against FBS on this field today. And how about the FCS victories? So where are the upsets here in your opinion? Well, I mean, I, I go straight to Montana, Washington now. Our super producer, Stas Hall, says that's not a big upset. To me, that is now. I mean, I love the Grizz and, and you know, the program they have. And at home, they're great. But going to Washington in the Pac-12, that's a big win for me, man. Well, it know. looks like you get the last word because you have a microphone. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny how that works, right? But, you know, if you're the racers, you're saying, I've got a chance, man. Look at this. And it's not, if I'm not mistaken, they were one-point favorite in this game. number of these teams we'll see in the FCS playoffs just after Thanksgiving. It's a field of 24, and they play for the championship that goes all the way to Frisco, Texas in early January. That's well, Scott Leffler, the head coach of Bowling Green, in case you're not aware. What I love about these guys, FCS has been doing playoff stuff forever. The FBI is just coming around to how good a playoff would do for you. You and I will be busy next week. I'll be in Mount Pleasant, Michigan for Florida International. And I'll be in Kalamazoo. Ooh, Western Michigan, huge upset over Pitt today. How about yes, that? Yes, man. And San Jose's going to come in and try to get a road win. That should be a good one. 41 victory for that? Broncos. Wow. Pitt beat Tennessee last week. We're 2-0 to start the year. Incomplete second and 10 intended for Tyrone Broden. McDonald's been hot. He's been on target all day. Offense, number 62. 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. I always wonder when a holding call is made, do you take the play, which is incomplete, second and 10, or do you back them, back them up 10? Well, remember, holding's a spot foul, so they're going to they're gonna back them, if I'm not mistaken, 10 yards from the spot of the ball. But uh, generally, yeah, they always take that. They always take that penalty, and so that hold is probably at the line of scrimmage. That, that's easy. You're going to take first and 20 all day. Racers have three timeouts remaining in the first half, so look for them to use those timeouts rather efficiently and quickly. And I think here comes one right now. Yeah, you got to use those. There's no question about it. So that means the Falcons cannot play conservatively. 30 second charge timeout. And maybe want to put the ball in the air to that's their first. use their timeouts. They've but, got three remaining. But let's, let's not forget, uh, you know, if it's an incomplete pass, that stops the clock for the Racers. So it's not an easy decision. And clock operator. Please reset the game clock to one minute. Using these timeouts like this early allows the clock to be in the favor of the racers. And when it's like that, you can still run the ball, right? So that gives them ability to, to be, you know, two dimensional. Clock operator, please reset the game clock to one minute and 35 seconds. One minute and 35 seconds. That's two dimensional, even though it's a two Thank minute you. situation, uh, especially if they can make them punt from backed up. So this is a very crucial situation for Bowling Green. It's going to be a second and 18 off the penalty and the short gain. Let's see how the Falcons play. It's an empty backfield for Matt McDonald. Three-man line of scrimmage. Low snap, uh -oh. and he's got to eat it. Oh, man. Saw a number of low snaps last week for Bowling Green, but that one was dangerous because the ball was coming loose. Murray State. And now the racers use a timeout and are likely going to get the ball back in great field position. Yeah, this is disaster right now for Bowling Green. As you say, we saw a lot of these last week, and McDonald was able to handle them, but that was tough. Great job of just avoiding the catastrophe, right? They could have went right through his legs, been picked up by the defender and ran in for a touchdown. I like how he fell on the ball, too. Don't try to do too much. Just keep the possession. 
because right now a punt is not your worst enemy. So McDonald's got to be very careful. If they decide to throw the football, be very careful with this ball. If I'm Bowling Green, I'm running this ball. I, I, I got to force, okay, the team in white to use a timeout. I am not putting this ball in the air because an interception here would be horrific. That's called a give-up play. Do you think that's appropriate, the, the description? I, I, not for this situation. I mean, I, I, I just I got to make them use that timeout. Carry on Stewart running to the outside. Wants to stay in bounds if he can. Well, and he did just barely. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. And he's got to know not even to get close. Don't even let the, the official make that call. And he got lucky and they winded the clock, but I'm not sure that Third was the right and call. Final charge timeout. Murray State. Racers are out of timeouts, but they've got 122 remaining in the first half. They're going to get the football close to midfield or maybe beyond that. And already with some momentum with the last 10 points in this game. Be, depending on where they can start this drive, the run game will still be available to them. Because we know in college football, you get it first, then the clock will stop. Uh, so first play of, of two minute, be alert for draws and screens just to catch the defense slipping and pick yourself up an easy 10. Take a look at the Valley, the Ohio Valley, and the scores so far this week. Missouri put 59 on SEMO. Tennessee, no problems with Tennessee Tech. Austin P leading 45-15 in the fourth. Later today, Illinois State, Eastern Illinois, and UT Martin, and Northwestern State. You know, Babers coached at Bowling Green and at Eastern Illinois. That's some guy named Garoppolo at Eastern Illinois. He's, uh, he's pretty good. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Naranjo from the end zone gets one to beyond the 50. And the field position is going to be awesome for the racers. A short field to work with as he returns to the 42. And after Baum hit that 47-yard, if they can get it, you know, to the 30 or so, they got a chance to take another shot. If you're Preston Rice, you got to remember that. I don't need to force anything. I don't need to be doing too much. All I need is a first down, maybe 15 yards to get a field goal here to take the lead in the half. So just be smart with the football. And I like the option of running the ball in this situation. A draw or a screen would be a really important call, in my opinion, because the defense is trying to rush the pass. Racers have run it well on first down in this first half. Rice looks to throw. People covered for the moment to the outside receiver, Brooks. He's got the first down and then some. Lamar Tez Brooks with a catch, runs it down inside to 25 with a pickup of 20. That's, li that's living dangerously right there. That ball came out late, but boy, he put some mustard on it though, right? Yeah, and the spot actually be at the 26, so it's a pickup of 18, but now they're in bomb field goal range. Still have a chance to take a shot at the end zone. You got to. Rice with a look and in trouble. Can't give up a sack. Going to be a holding penalty called as he throws it away. That's a tough break. That's going to back him up 10. Holding offense, number 78, 10-yard penalty from the previous spot, first down. D.J. Jones committed the holding. Starts with a power rush inside, and watch him try to come off of it. And there it is. There's the grab of the jersey. That's an easy call right there. Carl Brooks, nice job of bull rushing and trying to get off the block. And Heck, if you're going to hold him like that, make it count. He was going to get a sack. I'm not saying I'm in favor of the hold, but you don't want your guy hitting your quarterback. Jones is a backup right tackle. He weighs in at 326. 6'6", 326, yeah. too. That's like a humongous <laughs> offensive line. Rice had first down. He's in trouble. They brought him down. Ball loose. Bowling Green's got it. How about this? Blaine Spires around the football, and the Falcons, the as Rice is hurt, have regained the ball. Nice job by Spires. Not only getting a sack, but getting the ball out. But <laughs> that is a huge play. We talk about the size of this offensive line of the racers. Well, there's a downside of that. That's Just called pass blocking. In correction, I said player. Bowling Green had the ball, but that uh, that is not the call as the ball remains in the hands of Rice, who appeared to have gotten hurt on the play. Just a straight speed rush by Spires. Since the clock was running, this I includes Brooks a 10 seconds of that's not, uh, game clock operator. That's not correct. Please reset the game clock to 32 seconds. The clock will start on my signal. Kept thinking, how did Brooks not get it? But uh, still in the hands of Murray State. It's second and a half mile. 
I, I thought that that ball was recovered by the defense. Yeah, I, I did too. I need to see that again. It's going to be reviewed. Yeah, my eyes are playing tricks on me maybe. I don't know. We're talking to MAC officials today and replay officials. You have to call a timeout to challenge. Mm -hmm. So if a challenge is taking place here, a timeout is being used by Bowling Green. And, the rule and is, they've got three timeouts remaining. That's so. right. Let's take a look at this. Spires coming Bowling around the Green corner. Calls a 30-second charge timeout. There's the strip. Balls out. Still no possession near. No, and there's Brooks coming in, 44. So who else got it? Maybe Rice now, did. I saw the ball come out again. Did he pull it back? Again. Yeah. No, Rice doesn't have it. Oh, what well, he, he did, did pull Rice it got it back, yeah. Whoa. Okay. What a play right there by Rice. Well, they say the camera and never lies. So. <laughs> My eyes lied to him. Well, that right now. Mine too. I called it inaccurately. But uh, here's another angle. I think we might see it even better from the backside. And he's going in there and pulling. There it is. Good job. Woo. And he shows it to the ref. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got it. Wow, that was a heck of a play right there by the junior, Preston Rice. I mean, just imagine now if they can somehow come away with points, that would be sort of the biggest play of the first half. Fans don't have the benefit of replay, but it's obvious Rice did get it. Yeah. And time is being called. Number five was the injured player. By rule, number five has to sit out of play. So we go back to the backup quarterback, D.J. Williams, for his second play on offense. Well, his was crazy. I'm looking at Carl Brooks and saying, you're 6'4", 295. How did Rice get that ball from you? I think he snuck it from him. I mean, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, D-line. Don't let the quarterback take it from you. But the problem for Murray State, ball back at the 47, long out of field goal range. Quarterback's going to keep a nice run here to the 37. He picked up 10. It would be about a 54-yarder for Baum. No timeouts remaining, though. They got to hurry. I like the call from the Richard freshman. And, whoa, here's a flag. And I think we've got some sort of physical altercation, and whoever gets this flag, it's a horrible penalty for their team. Yes, it'd be a killer even on Bowling Green's side because that would put Baum into field goal range. I like the decision by the Richard freshman. Don't try to read this thing out in, under pressure. Go ahead and take yourself some free yardage by running up in the middle of the field. We'll help maybe have an unsportsmanlike on number 62 of Murray State from the offensive side of the ball, and that's uh, Austin Jones. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, Murray State, number 62. Wow. Pouring that's the it? Off the huddle. Oh, that, this is the well, reason that the clock is stopped. This includes a 10-second subtraction as well. Game clock operator, please reset the game clock to seven seconds. Thank you. You know, this drive, Tioka started at the 27. This series of downs at the 27 of Bowling Green. Well, I didn't see a whole lot of punching or hitting. I, I did see a little bit of taunting with the wave of the hand. Either way, that's a horrible play. That's a very selfish play that hurts your football team. Racers have no timeouts left, and the quarter with the clock moving is going to end. So Bowling Green gets a break. That is the end of the half. Ten-second runoff, right? Yep. I mean, no oh, chance to run a play. Gracious, you talking about a teachable moment for your run, run, young young football team? That that certainly was it. And that's a junior. That's one of your your guys that you you know has some experience. Have been around. Terrible play right there. A break for Scott Leffler and Bowling Green. Most interesting ends of the first half. Falcons led ten nothing. Racers have evened it up at ten. About to hit our 20-minute halftime break on Homecoming 2021 here in Ohio. Love Every is a support system for parents and toys for your little one. Everything in the box is designed by experts for each stage of your child's development. We link brain science and Montessori to the way you play. Every two to three months, a play kit is delivered to your home. It's matched to your child's age and what they are hungry to learn. We've done all the research so you don't have to. Love Every provides the map to help you confidently guide your child's learning. Unlock the joy of intentional play. Are you ready for a divisional showdown in Lambeau? Are Rogers and the Packers ready to bounce back? All right. There we go. Are Golf and the Lions ready to silence the doubters? And it's caught. Touchdown! 
Motor City is ready to hit the road. Title Town is ready to welcome them with open arms. Are you ready? Tired of painting year after year? Go Rhino, and you'll never have to paint again. Rhino Shield's unique 3M ceramic technology reflects UV rays away from your home's exterior, reducing wall surface temperatures, and is backed by our 25-year warranty. Rhino Shield won't chip, crack, flake, or peel. Stop throwing your money away on ordinary paint. Call now for your free estimate and receive 15% off the regular price. Never paint your house again. Rhino Shield. Aces, Mercury, tomorrow at 3 on ABC. Presented by Google. We are back on homecoming. Entertaining game so far. Knotted at 10 at halftime between Murray State and Bowling Green. And with Tyoka Jackson, the former Penn State star, I'm Jim Barber. Weird ending to the first half where the racers had the ball near the red zone and then suddenly dropped 20, 25 yards on offense. Uh, yeah, with unforced errors. I mean, you've got to finish that half off. You've got a chance to go in with the lead. FCS versus FBS. Unforced errors, I guarantee that locker room has a lot of loud voices coming at those players right now. Yes. Any any feel at this point where the momentum lies in the game? Not at the end of that. I mean, if they were scored, yeah, then I would say the racers have the momentum. Right now, I think it's a 0-0 ball game. I think both teams are going to come out and play the way they want to play. Both teams want to run it. Obviously, Murray State has an advantage passing the ball, but right now, that quarterback, Preston Rice, is getting heated up, too. So I think we have a tremendous second half ahead of us. Well, you mentioned earlier in the game those punches that are taken from the O-line to the D-line of Bowling Green. And maybe the fact that as we get to the fourth quarter, that's going to pay dividends. No doubt about it. And that offensive line is heated up for the racers. They've got some running lanes. That would continue. We'll see if those body punches slows down the pursuit of this Bowling Green defense. But the scoreboard, most importantly, is we're – the racers wanted. They can keep running the football. They hope to take it in the fourth quarter just like this. Much at stake for the racers who have not beaten an FBS team since 1984. That was Louisville back when Louisville was an independent. Bowling Green, meantime, looking for its first win in the last two years. When your family gathers around a shakaroni from Papa John's, you're sharing more than extra cheese and pepperoni. You're sharing scholarships, meals, and laughter. Because one dollar from every shakaroni goes to charity. That's pizza with a purpose. Tired of painting year after year? Go Rhino, and you'll never have to paint again. Rhino Shield's unique 3M ceramic technology reflects UV rays away from your home's exterior, reducing wall surface temperatures, and is backed by our 25-year warranty. Rhino Shield won't chip, crack, flake, or peel. Stop throwing your money away on ordinary paint. Call now for your free estimate and receive 15% off the regular price. Never paint your house again. Rhino Shield. Fansville is back, and everything has changed. College athletes can be in commercials now? Dr. Pepper, it's the one DJ deserves. Well, I want to be in a commercial. Will you make me the happiest fan alive? Coastal University? I thought we decided on state. No, that's what you decided. They don't even have football. The big day is finally upon us. Question is, will Jay and Natalie cross the goal line as one? The transfer portal. The legends are true. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. 
With a Honda in your garage, every summer adventure leads to another. Get an incredible summer offer on a new Honda, only at the Honda Summer Sales Event. Ready, set, go. Crisis can happen unexpectedly to anyone, and though it may seem like a small barrier, a simple lock puts space between the thought and the trigger. Learn how securing your guns can help prevent suicide. Turn to Rugged, the all-new, ruggedly redesigned 2022 Nissan Pathfinder. Today, business is a balancing act. You want your data to be protected and secured. And your customers want seamless and easy. With IBM, you can do both. Your company can monitor threats across your clouds address all those regulations, and still create all new experiences. Trustworthy AI-powered security. That's why so many businesses work with IBM. Oh, you're doing it wrong, man. What's wrong with action figures? Nothing, except buying them without Capital One shopping. What's that, Samuel, Mr. L. Jackson? Capital One shopping instantly searches for available coupon codes and automatically applies them. Just download it to your computer. Whoa, you're my hero. Yeah, I can tell. You like it? I look good in miniature. Capital One Shopping is kind of genius. What's in your wallet? I don't say it like that, Devin. See each other three times. I hear that your aunt almost had an impact on one of our games. Aunt Katie in West Virginia, who worked in the post office, and she was probably in her 70s, maybe almost 80. She used to send me a game plan every week, you know, when I was a coach at LSU. And it would just be a postcard type thing, and it would have tips to win the game. So when we're getting ready to play you guys, and she puts in her note, you need to go no huddle against these guys because this radar defense is going to mess your quarterback up. I just like, you know, so what? Uh Performance. You know, I actually told your dad if Eli would have came to LSU, we'd have won three national championships. <laughs> I'm originally from Hawaii, but I moved to Wisconsin just last year. I decided to get a bike because the car was too expensive. We both work at Chick-fil-A. She would bike to work every day. And then winter hit, and that was pretty rough. So there was a holiday raffle, and they were giving away a car there. Her name got called, and I was like, <laughs> she decided to give the car to me. Chick-fil-A feels like one big family. Helping you or just like any of my coworkers always brings joy. It's crazy to say, like, I gave my best friend a car. USAA got her a tow, her claim paid, and even her grandpa's dog tags back. Get a quote. Even her grandpa's dog tags back. Get a quote. Baby's on my mind all the time. Baby's on my mind all the time. Hasn't sent the letter to make it any better, oh baby. What are you doing? Ay, mi amor, 
deserve better. Pause your Wi-Fi on any device with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. Crisis can happen unexpectedly to anyone, and though it may seem like a small barrier, a simple lock puts space between the thought and the trigger. Learn how securing your guns can help prevent suicide. Yeah. Redesigned 2022 Nissan Pathfinder. With a Honda in your garage, every summer adventure leads to another. Only at the Honda Summer Sales Event. Ready, set, go. On a new Honda. Only at the Honda Summer Sales Event. Ready, set, go. Clue has live TV. Clue has live TV. Hulu has live sports? Well, yes. Hulu does have live sports. With over 75 live channels. Flip like cable, stream like Hulu. I thought I was managing my moderate to severe Crohn's disease. Then I realized something was missing. Me. My symptoms were keeping me from being there for her. So I talked to my doctor and learned Humira is the number one prescribed biologic for people with Crohn's disease. The majority of people on Humira saw significant symptom relief in as little as four weeks, and many achieved remission that can last. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections. Serious and sometimes fatal infections, including tuberculosis and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common, and if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections, or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humira if you have an infection. Be there for you and them. Ask your gastroenterologist about Humira. With Humira, remission is possible.